that I think you have to um, look at this case per case because if you start yeah. making rules to protect the general public because of something or someone might do something you get a very very repressive Let's system from just a little bit different uh, a different mm -hmm. perspective Tony yeah. um, I agree completely that it the government stepping in here is really putting us on a slippery slope that is yes. uh, dangerous. I think we agree on that. But let's look at it from the standpoint of the medical profession, the medical doctor who has diagnosed or uh, yes. uh, the, the confirmation of a deadly disease. That's, but therein lies a problem. Uh, yes, of course. Could, could those laws be changed so that in cases of, of uh, extreme the danger, the doctor was released from that um, requirement of confidentiality. I don't think so, because you can then exploit those causes. What's to be done to protect the innocent uh, and ignorant, ignorant in the sense of not being aware? Yeah, but that's not true. That's what... Uh, um, it's not a common thing. It's not a common thing. Still, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. I should be able to do anything I want in the bedroom, explore um, anything I want by myself or uh, with my partner. Um, but I believe we should educate young generations, I wrote it already in chat, uh, to prepare them for their sexual yes. life so they are at least aware uh, what's ahead of them. Uh, that would be the input from the, uh, let's say, government yeah. maybe? With my best friend when I was 10 years old because he told me what sex was and where I came from and how I came about. And I got into a fist fight over it and I told him that uh, I didn't believe him that my mother is right and I came from the I would say that you've got to look at what it means to be human and you've got a collision between two humans and they've got yeah. different expectations yeah. and uh, you're talking man and woman and consequences of sex so it's not a simple thing I mean society most of our what we call intelligence is built up from things we get from society around us. Some of it comes out of our genes, but most of it's our society. So our society is already in there, in the bedroom. Is my voice working? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Everybody quiet. We'll let Diane each, each person is a, a product of the society that they were raised in, whether uh, it's simply the, the, the family, the neighborhood, the, the church, the religious organization, whatever it is. Yes. And each person has their own comfort level, even, uh, you know, even though they may decide to walk into a bedroom together and to, to decide you know, mutually to do different things when someone's comfort level is hit. The other person has yeah. to Should accept, stop. accept, but yeah, has yeah. to accept the no. From a beginner's personality, okay? I have somebody who I really like. He's cute. He's showing me attention. Oh. Now I want to uh, satisfy him. And in, in a more subservient role, which females have a tendency to do, um, I might allow a little pain aloud which I wouldn't normally allow because I'm trying to make him happy. Okay, when things keep going like that, well, I might not be happy with it, but I might also not vocalize the fact that I'm not happy about it. Yeah, but that's your problem then. Why are you not talking about it? For my personal preference, I would say that the key has to be informed consent. And there are a number of things that go along with informed consent. Uh, complete honesty. That is not something that you will necessarily find. Um, whenever you put any kind of rule or guideline into effect, there must be consequences or uh, a way to enforce the rule. Otherwise, the rule has no weight and no meaning. Um, so if 
we create the rules that govern it around informed consent, then we also must create uh, a means through which uh, those who feel aggrieved may seek recourse for damages.